I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios here at AWS Summit New York City, chatting with Artisan Studios and Chick-fil-A. We have an exciting conversation to get to. I want to introduce you to Alan Nicolay. You are the Software Engineering and Technical Strategy Director for Chick-fil-A. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad to be here. And I'm also joined by Tim Metrovich. You are the CEO of Artisan Studios. That's correct, thank you. Let's get right to it. Now, what is Chick-fil-A Supply? And tell us about the problems you're trying to solve here. So Chick-fil-A Supply started about five or six years ago. Chick-fil-A has a really kind of unique um, distribution challenge in that we're a lot busier than other quick service restaurants. And we end up needing a delivery to our restaurants pretty much every day of the week. So six days of the week, we get a delivery to our restaurants. And the, the existing industry was starting to break and having challenges um, meeting those business needs for us. So as part of a bigger supply chain transformation in initiative, we decided, hey, we need to start bringing distribution in-house. We need our own trucks, we need our own drivers, we need our own buildings, we need to be able to provide that level of care that people expect for Chick-fil-A into the back of our Chick-fil-A's also. You can only stock one day of supply in your restaurants, so that led you kind of on a journey to go from we can't outsource this, to ha we have to bring this in-house. What were some of the challenges in doing that and how did you solve them? For us, we had spent years like outsourcing. We have multiple partners, some doing well, some not doing well, but some of it's just learning the distribution business. Um, and for us also, from a technology perspective, it was Greenfield. We, we started from scratch. Um, but we also wanted to do things a little bit differently. And so we're trying to learn the industry, but also do things differently. We want to make it a more caring environment. And what we ended up creating with this was really a startup within Chick-fil-A. So we have this really cool Chick-fil-A culture on, on how we treat people and how we, we expect, um, you know, what our definition of care is. But at the same time, we need to be able to move really fast in an agile fashion. And so it's kind of a, a little bit of both world, best of both worlds for me, a startup and within a Chick-fil-A environment. Tim, how did Artisan Studios support that startup journey? Well, we got involved uh, early on to help with one of the key innovations, which was the Chick-fil-A operator and driver app. Um, and you know, they were growing so fast that they needed help from a bunch of different sources. I mean, the, the number of people that came together quickly uh, to put a lot of technology into place very quickly was, was pretty shocking. And what are some of the innovations that you're most proud of in this whole transformation journey? One of the big ones was we started looking at like where are things broken in our existing model. And one of those things was the relationship between the restaurant and the distribution partner. Um, one is just the quality of that, but, but by switching to doing deliveries at night, we do deliveries at night, six days a week. Nobody wants to pull up to go to a Chick-fil-A and see an 18-wheeler on the lot. Um, so, one of the challenges with that was that the relationship started breaking down between the restaurant, between the, the driver, between the distributor. That was all a mess there. And um, so what we ended up doing is we kind of took this holistic approach. We created a mobile app that was restaurant focused. We created a mobile app that our driver used and we used a ServiceNow module that um, our help desk was using. And we created this kind of business process that worked across all three of those platforms. So instead of having three independent teams, there's really one team working across all of it. And a big part of that is like guiding self-service um, at the restaurant. So it used to be they would call into a, a distributor when they had problems, all this sort of stuff. So empowering them with self-service, changing business process with it, but also just little stuff. Just like, do you have the picture of the person that delivered your product last night? Do you know their name? Yeah. Um, do you know the name and picture of the person that's helping you with customer service? So lots of little things to kind of try to tie that all together, I think was a really big, big part of that. Um, and I think when, when you're trying to run distribution at that scale, little things matter, right? And so making it so easy to just deal with the issues that come up during a delivery, get your money back, get right back to work and not worry about it is how you're able to crank that much product through a business that's growing as quickly as Chick-fil-A. What was, uh, during this process, Tim, what was the thing that kept you up at night that your team really said, we have to nail this one thing? Uh, it's, it's all about the operator experience. It is, I mean, like they, they have to love it. We had to give them an experience that was so easy and seamless. It should be just as easy for them 
to deal with issues in a delivery as it is for you or I to it, deal with a, a product that we received in the mail that was broken. It should be that easy. And I love some of the comparisons. You know, we think when we have a package delivered, we see the picture, we know who delivered it, we know who our driver is going to be. Uh, it really is interesting to see this go into a B2B space, into kind of a commercial space where there's a personal touch to this to make it easier. How has this solution, how have these ideas in Chick-fil-A supply translated into performance in the Chick-fil-A stores? I think it's been a very transformative. I mean, if you think about it on what, we want to provide this amazing customer service on the front of the restaurant, but if you have no product and you're struggling in the back of the restaurant, you're sending somebody to another store to pick a product, all these yeah. different things, you can't have great service in the front if you don't have great service in the back. And so that's one that's been really transformative to the folks in the restaurant, just going, hey, I can now focus on what I've been wanting to focus on. Um, and that's, you know, you know, creating great products and making customers happy. As you're going about creating this solution, tell us about the engineering and design process. From an engineering perspective, we did it in a very agile fashion. Um, so we, honestly, for the first couple years we were working through this, I think we did a release like clockwork every two weeks. So between our driver and our restaurant app, every two weeks we got features and functionality coming out. And we're tied very closely in with our driver and restaurant and these user communities that we're serving to get to find out what is the highest most important thing for us to really work on and build for them. And so that's something that really worked well. It was a really tight loop and it, it worked like clockwork. Any fun design stories? Well, we put every single engineer and designer on the back of a truck. They've all unloaded trucks. They've all worked in the back of a restaurant. They've gone on those 3 a.m. deliveries um, in the back of a freezing cold truck. What did they think of that? Uh, they actually loved it because it helped them to understand how is this actually going to be used, right? It's one thing to develop code in a laboratory or in your office, it's another to go then take your product and use it in a freezing cold truck with gloves on. Like that's how you get it, that's how you get it right. We'll leave it there. At AWS Summit in New York City, I'm joined by Alan and Tim. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. I'm Brian Westbrook with Geekwire Studios. Thanks for watching.